In this video, I'll help you to answer frequently asked Excel interview question. How to import transactional sales data from ERP into Microsoft Excel and then get this data ready for analysis. A lot of times, reports from ERP systems are extracted and come in the PDF format. In this video, we'll look how to import PDF data into Excel using Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word allows opening PDF files for editing. You can select PDF file in the open dialog box. You probably will get this warning message. I typically click OK, or you can select don't show this message again. And after a few seconds, Word brings the entire PDF file into Microsoft Word. Depending how your original PDF file is structured, you might get the entire data as table in Microsoft Word, which would be easy to select, then copy, and then paste in Microsoft Excel. After you pasted it, you can format it as you wish and use this data for your formulas or any additional calculations. Sometimes after you got the data into Microsoft Excel, it might require additional cleansing. Let's look at some additional steps you might need to do once you import the data into the tool. Excel provides numerous tools for you to cleanse the data. One of these tools is text to column feature of Excel. For example, you might realize that purchaser names contains both first and last name, and it's all contained in one cell. Text to column feature might be helpful to separate first name from the last name and put them into the separate columns. To do that, you might consider renaming the column. One of the more appropriate names might be first and then last. To use text to column, you can select the column. In our case, it's column D. Go to data tab and click text to column feature. The text here is space delimited, so we select delimited option on the first screen and then select space on the second screen. Then we click next. We can assign the type of the column for the future converted values and we can select text for both columns and then we can click finish. And it will ask us if we want to replace the column because we created an extra column E, which is empty. We can select OK option in this case. And you can see now column D contains first name and column E contains last name. If you are getting ready for the interview where you will be asked Microsoft Excel questions, make sure to check out my website to learn more about additional resources available to get you ready for the interview. One of the coolest features available in Excel is the Power Query split columns. For example, you might notice that purchaser's address contains street information as well as the zip code, and this data is separated with the slash. To convert it into two separate columns, you need to first convert your data into the table. To do that, you need to select the data first. You can select the first cell and then click Control shift end to get to the last cell of this data range. Then you need to navigate to Insert, Table, it asks you to confirm the range that you are trying to use. Click OK here. And now data is converted and you can use Data tab to transform data from existing table or range. You click From Table Range button. This launches Power Query. And what you need to do, you need to uh, look at the purchaser's address column, select it, and then use Split Column option in the Power Query. Since we know that the slash is the delimiter for your uh, purchaser's address information, you click by delimiter. I added two spaces in the beginning and at the end of the splash. Now you click OK and you see that Excel created two columns. One column contains purchaser's address and another column contains zip code. If this video was helpful, please make sure to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. For links mentioned in the video, please check the description. To learn more on the topic, please make sure to check out my ebooks and online training courses. To stay connected, please make sure to subscribe via email and follow on social media. All the best on your Excel interview and assessment test. Make sure to check out my other relevant videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have a lot of great stuff planned in the pipeline and I don't want you to miss any of it. And if you'd like to get notified about all the new stuff that are coming out, make sure to subscribe to my email list as well. All links are here on the screen. Make sure to click to stay in touch. Thanks again for watching.